Hi folks, Amelia Finance again. Um, so today we're going to talk about the drive through So I was recently in Texas for a couple of days on vacation and um, it's always fun to go on vacation because you're getting this new experience, you get different perspectives, it, people live different ways in different locations based off of needs, geography, weather. So it's really fun to get a snapshot and it sort of shifts you from what your view is normally to like a different perspective. So point number one, and I'm not going to drive too deeply into this, is the Ford F-150 and the truck is like such a big deal once you get into some of these other states. Uh, people love it. In Texas, they have actually have Texas versions of the, the Ford 150 and other Chevy GM does as well. Um, and so you're, you're driving around and you have these like luxury trucks practically. So sidebar, so semiconductors and the Ford F-150 are still alive and well. That's a great, we'll work on that later. Um, but point number two is the drive through. So because I'm in Texas, you're driving around a lot um, and you're doing, um, you're just going from place to place, right? And so I end up in the drive through three times on my short little trip. And I thought, huh, why, why am I not going to Starbucks more frequently? Well, I'm sitting at home, working from home all day. And so when you have to drive somewhere, when you're back in the work mode, you're often in the drive through more often than not. But then even if you're not, uh, if you still are working from home, you're still going because um, it's an easy way to get a meal and you're socially distanced. And this is the really interesting part of the drive-through is it you can do it now through going through the physical queue or you can do it on your app and have it either picked up or delivered to you. And so these new um, features to go about doing the drive-through, being able to be socially distanced so you're not impacting or contaminating or getting exposed to anything makes the drive through this really interesting place where people are being able to purchase those products that they love consistently um, and and get out and still have that really interesting, great experience. Um, who, who really benefits? So I love Starbucks, so I think Starbucks is going to continue to grow and develop that. They've already talked about making only drive through stores in some locations. I think Yum! Brands sitting there at 133 is also a really good candidate. candidate. They own The Habit and Taco Bell, so really standard, what we know and love um, in the fast food division. And there's also um, Restaurant Brands International at 65-ish, um, and they own, what do they own? Burger King and Popeyes, so another really good candidate. And I think as long as these companies can find what the consumer likes, really hone in on that, give it and make it consistent, delicious, wonderful, amazing, every time the consumer goes and buys it. And then three, what are the similar items that can be added on in order to grow that customer's order? I think if those, if those companies can really focus on that and leverage that, I think McDonald's is also doing a really great job at this. Um, there's so much opportunity to grow the drive through space and maybe, maybe higher end restaurants need to start thinking about how can I incorporate aspects of the drive through um, to make my food faster and make it more available to my customers. So. With that, like, follow, um, and ask questions. So thanks, guys. Talk soon.